Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 80 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So for those watching on YouTube, the background is <laughs> kind of eerie, I think. It's um, got, I've got a new background, it's a marbled sort of green and it's got sort of like a broken wall and there's a lovely lamp there. It actually looks real, this lamp, but it looks like I'm on the docks um out on the water somewhere and it's like murky and um foggy night so i'm really liking that lamp it looks so real and i think it's made me look different because my eyes look small and i'm looking really pale and i put so much makeup on i'm not putting any more so um i think the green is sort of making me look a bit pale anyway i really like the lamp and the broken um, bricks that you can um, see in the corner so it's a nice different look so I'm going with it um, I'm surprised that I even did today because I don't know about you but this um, COVID and the lockdown that we've got in Melbourne is really getting me down and I was like I can't be bothered I just can't nobody cares nobody loves me nobody's listening <laughs> that's that's just how I feel and um yeah, just being feeling a bit down is like, why should I even bother? But I thought, you know, what else am I going to do? I'm just going to be moping um, alone. So I thought, I'll just, it was, it's something to do. I can put my face on, put my background up, put my light ring up and just, um, um, just get on with it. So I think it was a good idea. So let's start with the week. It would help if I actually wrote the date in my diary. So it started on the 13th of July. And on the 13th, um, which was a Monday, I edited, uploaded and promoted my podcast. Um, what does this say? Yeah, on Monday, <laughs> it says losing my shit. Um, just angry. I was on Monday. I was in a really bad way. Um, for what five more weeks to go, and next week we have to be wearing masks when we go outside. I mean, I've been wearing masks anyway, so that really helped my mood. Um, I also got some wigs. I ordered some wigs online because I always either have my hair up or very rarely down and when I have it down it takes me forever to fix so I can't be bothered so I got some wigs um, to just put a wig on but they don't look good and I got two I got one long um, brownie blonde hair and the other one was all blonde pinky pinky blonde but they just don't look good um, I think I need to try and fix them so that they look better I don't know. I didn't want to have issues. I just want something easy. I like easy. I wanted the wigs for easy and it's they're not easy. Um I got contacted for from Insta for from this guy who said that, you know, for promotion, if I pay him, he'll dance to my beat and he's got like 200,000 followers. Um, I've been umming and ahhing, I don't know why, just, um, I still haven't decided and he keeps sending me question marks because I keep asking questions um, because um, somebody from a different account contacted me about his account and the emails don't match up and then I'm like, you know, is this legit? Um, there's so many scammers and, and I've just been taking my time. I'm just in slow motion at the moment. I think during lockdown, I've, I'm just slow motion. So I, I've been answering questions to him all week, but um, mainly I've just been in slow motion, just not really deciding on anything. Um, on Monday, I also got the lipstick that I'm wearing. I, it's from Oma, U-O-M-A. I'm holding it in my hand. It's this amazing um, black-owned beauty brand, and the lipstick is from the Badass Collection. Let me just double check. Icon Badass Collection. And this one is called Maya. Um, I'm guessing after um, Maya Angelou. And this, it's a really solid. Um, it's all white. And it's really solid. Very heavy. Incredible quality. Um, you can see there's um, raised writing. And on the bottom the logo is in red. And 
and uh, you're not going to be able to see that but uh, so you can sort of see that there's raised writing there which has got the um, the label name and on the lipstick it says a badass does not talk about being a badass I <laughs> really like that and then inside it's red and I just noticed it says badass on there too and the color on that website it looks more pale but it's sort of like a ready brown and I've got this color on it's incredible lovely creamy and it's magnetic too I just noticed that it's magnetic it's lovely it's really creamy it's nice thick creamy um, lipstick it's matte and I've pulled on I'm in love with snickerdoodle from um, let me grab it this one is on the top and it's from beauty bakery this is snickerdoodle lip whip and that's they're the two that I'm wearing um, I like a gloss I always buy matte but then I always end up putting up a gloss on top but I guess at least that way I can use two different products I don't know but this is awesome from Oma U O M A um, yeah definitely look look at those products so that lipstick came on Monday on Monday I finally saw Hamilton um for on disney channel um disney channel disney plus i paid specifically just to see hamilton the play which was like this amazing blockbuster on broadway won like 11 tonys and i think that won a grammy as well and it's got hip-hop rap rapping in there and absolutely loved it i love the energy i love the songs i love the passion i love the story like you really got to concentrate because it's political but i really loved i love the whole thing uh, it's absolutely awesome the songs are incredible and i love that they use people of color to replace the actual obviously the the political leaders have to be <laughs> played by actors but um, like George Washington and all that obviously they were all white but they've used um, actors of color and I absolutely loved that I thought it was brilliant that was one of my favorite parts and just the singing and and just the passion but also that they used actors of color um, to play these white roles that was fantastic that's I just love that bit that was my favorite uh, so that was on Monday and then on Tuesday and as I'm looking down I'm looking at my rainbow fluffy unicorn diary and on Tuesday edited video podcast very lazily last week I just had no <laughs> motivation to do anything um, the video podcast is very basic I have not put any pictures like I normally do in words and things like that it's just very basic so um during this lockdown i'm just not feeling anything but at least i'm putting out my podcast and <laughs> you're here you're seeing it and hearing it um christmas in july i've decided to do christmas in july because i saw on the news that people are doing it so i've ordered some things um i got a blow up santa but i thought it was just going to be blow up but it's actually got a motor and it's a bit noisy and i don't like that um but i do i have had it out during the week it's cute it's like 1.2 meters high i don't know how many inches that is uh, it's 1.2 meters high and it's cute he's holding a candy cane and he's of a good size but um and i didn't realize how many how very little christmas decorations we've got so i've ordered some stuff from ebay some things came last week and then i went to bunnings and i got some more fairy lights for the trees we've got out the front and i'm just waiting for some more stuff to come on ebay and of course now i'm obsessed and i've been buying stuff <laughs> and it's so expensive um usually you can get these things for like 10 bucks at kmart or bunnings and now everything's like 30 40 dollars and there's this cute little reindeer i've got my eye on and it's 68 dollars and i don't know i really want to get it but and uh, we'll see but um and people are walking past and they're like what the hell is that a santa <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to make a sign and put Christmas in July so people don't think I'm nuts which I am but I don't care um, and so then on Wednesday exhausting day just lots of chores at home just heaps and heaps of stuff um, what does this say got deals 
Oh uh, yes, I got um, drum beats from this uh, from Naven. It's written X N A V E N from Naven. He's from Nigeria, and he's a beat maker. And he sent me some beats so that we can collaborate. And I made a beat. Um, it's called Dripping Wet um, because one of the samples that I used in this, I had just sent the basic drums and then I've layered it up. And the drums he sent were quite sexy and then I used some samples and one of the samples was called Drip and I thought I'll call it Dripping Wet. I don't know if it's a bit, um, a bit off but maybe I'll change it to Drip. But yeah, I've called it Dripping Wet. It'll come out, I don't know if I'll put an extra or if it'll come out in the next few weeks but stay tuned so that was really nice of him i'm still in contact with him maybe i want to maybe start interviewing people on my podcast um to add an extra element to it instead of me just jabbering along on my own so yeah that was wednesday and then thursday oh thursday we got the um ducks cleaned in the floor for our heating um we usually do it once a year because it's disgusting the things that come out all this dirt it's really bad um i did grocery shopping and thursday i just watched tv because i was just buggered it was a long day and i just couldn't be bothered doing anything and then on friday i tried making a bee with um floating roots again they contacted me on insta i love when people contact me if you want to collab or anything insta is the best place i look at it every single day like heaps of times um and twitter but yeah usually i'm in, i'm on insta um and they contacted me to enter my beats um a bit into their competition and you have to use their samples but i just can't make anything with their samples i think they're all lo-fi and i just can't get into the groove with their beats the their samples i just can't make them work they're just not for me um and i made this be um if you have a look on my instagram at c and as songs um i show you what i made and it's so lame and then i thought to spice it up i'll add some gospel samples in there which i love and i ended up making a whole new different beat not using any of their samples i don't think i'm going to try anymore i just don't I can't vibe with their samples um, from Floating Roots, so I've got to finish this gospel beat. But it's really awesome. You just you got to check out the um, the Instagram post that I did. Um, the sample that I used from Floating Roots was called Bahamas, but yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> there was no rhythm. There was nothing. It was very boring. Um, yeah, and I ended up making a beat called Get Up. Um, which is my gospel beat, but the Bahamas beat is is dead. It drowned. It drowned. Um, I also made a beat with Decap's packs called Respect Me. So Decap is a producer um, and he does beats that knock. He makes those packs and they're absolutely sensational. Like the drum beats like really do knock. They're awesome. So that'll be coming out. Um, and there's a beautiful 808 grumble in there. I love a really nice 808. Uh, so that'll come, be coming out soon too. And then on Saturday, so I'm reading the book. Um, let me check my thing. This is how bad my memory is. Um, I'm reading the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson yeah and it's the orange book with the black splat on it i'm sure everybody's seen it and in there i don't know why but he made a mention of this japanese soldier called hiru onoda um he was from world war Two. he was what's known as a holdout and holdout is soldiers that don't surrender when the war is over apparently this no no there's not more now <laughs> they'd be dead now but there was he this particular soldier let's get back to hiru this particular soldier um from japan was sent to the philippines um he was an imperial japanese army officer and he didn't surrender for 29 years after the war finished so he was the war ended in august 45 and he surrendered on the 9th of march in 74 29 years later 
and they the Americans dropped leaflets and they the Japanese dropped leaflets and they sent to tell them that the war is over he thought it was a trick to get them to come out and then um, they sent search parties to find him and he shot at them he was with three people one person realized that the war was over and he left uh, he left them and then his the second guy that was with him got killed in a shootout with the local police then he was on his own for like another 10 years five to ten years and then this other disillusioned guy he was a bit of a hippie japanese guy and by this time hiru had become like this fable like um they they would speak of him with with respect because he didn't surrender it's there there's a great pride with um japanese people he didn't surrender he was told that he had to fight and he was going to fight till the end until his um commanding officer came and told him to surrender but what happened before that was this hippie called um nano no uh, norio suzuki um, he was fed up with the modern way of Japan and it wasn't suiting him so he had heard of Hiro and he, he was going to go and find him which people for decades tried to find him but they never did like search parties of police and people equipped to know how to do this they never found him but Norio went um, to the jungles from Japan to Philippines in the jungles and called out um, Hiru, the emperor is worried about you and he did this for four days and he found him and you know um, officers army try to find him for decades they couldn't but this guy found him by calling out his name and saying the emperor is worried about you found him and told him that yes the war is actually over and it was time for him to surrender and he said he wasn't going to do it until his commanding officer came and told him to surrender so this hippie norio went back to japan told them that he found them and what his um what he wanted and so they found his commanding officer who ended up being a bookseller they flew him to the philippines to tell him to surrender <laughs> and that was when he surrendered he was still um in disbelief but he finally did surrender and then he ended up um he went to the philippines um he went to who was in the philippines he went to the guy the um was it the president um marcos and he went and he surrendered his sword and he uh, and he was pardoned for everything because he killed people um he killed field owners and he killed um a lot of people for um food he killed he stole cattle he stole rice from fields that were not his and but he was pardoned and then he went back to japan he didn't like what he saw back in japan and then he ended up going to brazil why from japan to brazil i don't know and he stayed there for quite a few um, decades more then moved back to japan and he died when he was like 1991. it was just a very interesting story i've never heard anything like this so if you want to look it up hiru onoda i'm going to read his autobiography it's a bit expensive at the moment it's 30 dollars i usually wait until it's cheaper and um and I'll see but I just thought that was an interesting story I'm not sure I think he was um Mark Manson was maybe the example was you know what pain are you willing to put up with in life like the this particular man was willing to put up with this pain for loyalty and then Norio Suzuki he found him can't remember what pain he was he he wanted to go on an adventure like nori i said in in order what he wanted to do was three things one was to find hiru two was to see a panda bear and three was to find the abominable snowman so he did the first two and then he ended up dying in the himalayas um quite young but it was a life of adventure and good on good on him um yeah so that was just an interesting story i thought you might like to hear that uh so that was saturday oh no i read a bit on saturday there's always housework to be done on saturday and painting and and gardening and 
now we're on Sunday and today again lots of um, um, housework stuff to do around the house but also heaps of gardening uh, which I absolutely hate and I hate painting too like I was doing painting I was watching the female Ghostbusters um, last night on Saturday night and that was nice to watch that um, I really enjoyed it I liked that movie I thought it was really good um, and then yeah today Sunday um, gardening I didn't even get a chance to get the paper it was miserable weather but um, yeah did the gardening and just odds and ends around the house and then had dinner and then I thought do you want to mope or do you want to put out your podcast so I decided to mope and put out my podcast so <laughs> here we are so that was my week um bits and pieces of this and that at least I'm doing some beat making and um collaborating with other people so you know let me know if you want to collab that would be really cool so the bead of the week is noise and noise is a bead that I made that's got this little annoying noise in there <laughs> that I incorporated into the bead. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you like it. Um, look after your mental health. It's not easy at the moment. Um, we might end up going into stage four lockdown. Um, I don't even want to think about it. Look after your mental health. Um, call Lifeline, call Beyond Blue and um, speak to your GP, chat with friends, get on Insta, you know, just talk to people and Twitter um, and Reddit. I go on Reddit. There's lots of really cool hip-hop groups in there um, to talk to people. It's really cool. People are really nice. Um, so, yeah, keep yourself busy um, as much as you can and look after yourselves and uh, share this podcast with your friends or someone you think would like to hear it or see it that would be really cool thank you to those who contact me and thank you to those who ask for collabs and stuff I absolutely love it um yeah take care of yourselves beat of the week is noise i hope you like it and i will see you guys next week bye